Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Mail Online under the main headline of Robert Jenrick warns the UK to brace for difficult economic year. Summary of headline article. He added that the market has already begun to ostracize Russian oil. With nearly 70% of it currently unable to find a buyer. US President Joe Biden has decided he will ban Russian oil and gas immediately. James Spencer, MD of Portland Fuel, said, This has been a layer cake of bad news for oil prices. The US will be acting alone but in close consultation with European allies, who are more dependent on Russian energy supplies. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Sunday that active discussions were underway on a Western boycott of Russian oil and gas. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War. Moscow promises humanitarian corridors. U.S. to send Patriot missiles to Poland a Euro, live. Summary of headline article. 443 investors are turning to clean energy stocks as Russia's invasion of Ukraine threatens to further raise oil prices and highlights Europe's dependence on Russian oil and gas. Photograph. Lisa Marie Williams. Getty Images Russia itself is also about to default on its sovereign debt due to the sanctions and the threat of more to come. Ratings agency Fitch said. Van Eck senior associate Alice Shen said the U.S.'s decision to ban imports of Russian oil could further boost prices, adding to the attractiveness of renewables. This trend towards clean energy stocks too will likely gain momentum as energy consumers seek substitutes for fossil fuels and the demand for renewable energy rises to meet climate change. Carbon emissions targets she said. The Russia-Ukraine war highlights the vulnerability of countries that rely on fossil fuels, arguably raising the importance of clean energy as an energy supply and it could be an important impetus for the acceleration to clean energy globally. From Evening Standard under the main headline of air raid sirens in Kyiv as thousands evacuate Sumy. Summary of headline article. Russian forces have seen their advances stopped in certain areas, including around Kyiv, by fiercer resistance than expected from the Ukrainians. The military said, demoralized, Russian forces were looting, commandeering civilian buildings and setting up firing positions in populated areas. Fighting northwest of Kyiv remains ongoing with Russian forces failing to make any significant breakthroughs. The mod said. The cities of Kharkiv, Chernihiv, Sumy and Mariupol remain encircled by Russian forces and continue to suffer heavy Russian shelling. Britain will also strengthen its ban on Russian aircraft, making it a criminal offence for any to fly or land in the UK. From the Guardian under the main headline of a Euro way will fight until the end of Euro. How the papers covered Zelensky a Euro s common speech. Summary of headline article. Volodymyr Zelensky's invoking of the Churchillian legend to appeal for British help in repelling. The Russian invasion of Ukraine was irresistible for most of the front pages on Wednesday. The Mail declares him a commons hero, and uses one of his most defiant lines as the headline. We will fight until the end. The Express also salutes Zelensky's inspirational and historic common speech with the headline We'll fight in forests, fields and on shores. We will continue fighting for our land, whatever the cost. Although it leads with blow to Putin, Britain and US ban Russian oil. The Times uses a picture of the Commons Chamber but leads with the suggestion by Poland, since
quashed by the Americans, that Zelensky's government could be given its old Soviet-era MiG jets. From BBC under the main headline of War in Ukraine. McDonald a Euro s. Coca-Cola and Starbucks halt Russian sales. Summary of headline article. As a food and beverage company. Now more than ever we must stay true to the humanitarian aspect of our business, Boss Ramon. Legata said. That means we have a responsibility to continue to offer our other products in Russia. Including daily essentials such as milk and other dairy offerings. Baby formula and baby food. From the Telegraph under the main headline of John Burko will struggle to find a sympathetic ear. Summary of headline article. We've noticed your ad blocking. We rely on advertising to help fund our award-winning journalism. We urge you to turn off your ad blocker for the Telegraph website so that you can continue to access our quality content in the future. Thank you for your support. From Mail Online under the main headline of Ukraine War. Four UK squaddies go AWOL to fight Putin's forces. Summary of headline article. Do you know any of the British advertisement for British soldiers including a teenager paid to protect the Queen are feared to have gone AWOL to fight Vladimir Putin's invading forces in Ukraine? and serving members of the British Armed Forces have been banned from accepting the Ukrainian Army's invitations to fight. Retired Army Chief General Lord Richard Dannett warned that it could be disastrous if active. Serving British Army personnel were to be captured by Russian forces. According to the Mirror. The retired UK Special Forces soldiers volunteered for missions deep inside Ukraine to back up their country's defense. Ukrainian artillery is now being brought to bear on Russian forces as they set up the next phase of their attack. Commanders said. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine. Russian planes can be detained in UK. Summary of headline article. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps said the UK was one of the first countries to ban Russian aircraft and today we are going even further by making it a criminal offence for Russian aircraft to operate in UK airspace. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Pretty Patel is in deep political trouble over the Home Office's Ukraine farce. Summary of headline article. We've noticed your ad blocking. We rely on advertising to help fund our award-winning journalism. We urge you to turn off your ad blocker for the Telegraph website so that you can continue to access our quality content in the future. Thank you for your support. From the Independent under the main headline of Prince Andrew pays Virginia Jufre to settle. Sexual assault case. Summary of headline article. Prince Andrew has paid his financial settlement to Virginia Jufre following a seven-month case in which he was accused of sexually abusing her when she was 17. Ms. Jufre was suing the Queen's second son for sexual abuse, saying Prince Andrew had sex with her when she was a minor and had been trafficked by his friend, the billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. The Prince who has stepped down from royal duties and public life, claimed he never met Ms. Jufre. The Duke reached the out-of-court multi-million pound settlement with Ms. Jufre last month, meaning both sides avoided the case going to trial. As part of the agreement, he was due to pay damages to Ms. Jufre and a donation to a charity in support of victims' rights. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.